Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. And welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Mutsa, and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my community. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we know that we have to sanitize. So let's take our sanitizer and then we rub inside our hands around our hands, in between our fingers and our wrists. Don't forget your fingertips too. When you're done, make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing coloring and drawing. To start our lesson today, boys and girls, let's all turn to page three. On page three, we are going to be coloring and it is going to be our job to color the pictures with our favorite color. Yay! So you can pick your favorite color and then you're going to color all of the pictures you can see. The first one that we can see is of a traditional pot. That one is used especially in our rural homes. The next one that you can see is a basket. Now the basket you can see is made up of straw and you can color that any color you like. The last one that we can see at the bottom is a traditional house. This one is called a hut. So, all three are going to be colored with your favorite color. I have some colors here with me and I want us to talk about the colors before we start coloring. So let's take a look. This is the color yellow. So you can use yellow, especially if you're going to make your basket yellow, that's fine too. But if yellow is not your favorite color, then don't use it. This one is blue. We normally use blue for the sky, for the water, but if it's your favorite color, you can use it as well. This one is green. Now we can see that our green can be used for the grass, the trees, and the leaves. But if it's not your favorite color, that's fine too. This one is pink. And pink, my dear children, is my favorite color. So when I'm going to color, I'm going to use pink. Then we have red. For those of you who like red, you can use the red color to color your three pictures. We have the color purple. If purple is your favorite color, well done, that's okay. You can use that one too. And then we have orange. Orange is also another color that you can use. 
Now remember boys and girls, you can use any of your favorite colors. When you're coloring, I'd like you to please color either going up and down gently or across. If you're going to go across, try starting from the bottom and color your way up. And then if you're going to do up and down, try going from your right side, moving to your left. Well done. Make sure you color inside the lines. Then when you're done with that one, you can move on to the next one on page four. On page four, you are going to be drawing and not just any type of drawing. You're going to draw your favorite transport. Now, some of you are saying, teacher, what is transport? Well, we're going to discuss a few of them on the board. So let's take a look. Now on the board, I have all sorts of transport that we definitely use all the time. The ones that travel in the sky, in the air, we have an aeroplane. And I know you know that one because every time it flies across, I can hear some of you say, aeroplane, aeroplane. <laughs> So we have our aeroplane, it flies in the sky, but that's not the only thing that flies in the sky. We have a helicopter. That one goes right above it has propellers. So those are the things that help it fly in the sky. And then the last thing we have is an air balloon. That one goes up, up, up in the sky, slowly and gently. If you've ever been in an air balloon, wow, you're very lucky. So we have the three that travel in the sky. Then we have something that travels on rail. Now, when we mean rail, it's not a road, but it does pass through tunnels or bridges so that it can also move. This type of transport is called a train. And as you can see, this is a choo-choo train because all of this is the smoke. And when it moves, it goes And sometimes when the conductor, the person who's driving the train is coming close to people, he has to tell them, I'm here. So the way he says, I'm here, it goes Choo choo! So this type of transport is called rail and this is a train. Then we have something that moves in water. Now there are a few things, but the main one that we know is a boat. So a boat can move in water, a ship can also move in water as well. And when it moves, it sails across the water. It usually takes longer for a boat or a ship. But if you have a speedboat, you can go fast and go in the water. <laughs> so we have something that moves in the water, something that moves on rail, and something that's in the sky, in the air. Then we have what we call road transport. Those are the ones that we now know. We definitely know an ambulance. That one moves on the road and it makes a special sound when it's moving. It goes wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo, or even something like that. The siren is the one that tells us that we have to get clear of the road because someone who is sick needs to go straight to the hospital. Then we have a scooter. Now a scooter is only for one person. It's like a bike. So the person gets onto the bike and it also has two wheels just like a bike. The scooter is usually used for people who need to get to a place quicker than a car, but it's also where you wear a helmet. Then we have a lorry. Now this lorry is carrying maybe a lot of goods. For example, maybe a lot of chips or chocolates at the back. The lorry is a big type of transport. It's the biggest one you can find on the road and it has many, many wheels. And it also has a very deep sound. When the driver honks his horn, he goes, Boom, boom. <laughs> then lastly, we have a car. Most of us know a car because some of our parents, they own cars. 
So we know that a car is the one that is used on the road a lot. So these are just a few of the transports that are there. There's also buses, there's also taxis, any type of transport that you like. I want you to draw it on the page. Take your time, make sure you color it when you're done, and after that, show someone and tell them why it's your favorite transport. I'll see you when you're done, my children, after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. I know I did. Remember, if something is too hard or you're not sure what to do, that's okay. You can always ask an adult for help. Just make sure you finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done with our work, we need to sanitize. Remember how we sanitize? We put a little bit of sanitizer in our hand. Then we rub inside, round and round, in between our fingers and on our wrists. Don't forget your fingertips. Then you wait for them to dry before you touch anything else. Now that we're done with our lesson, I wonder where Soshi is because I know I heard him come in, but I don't know where he went. Oh, <laughs> there you are, Soshi. So from Soshi and I, we want to say thank you so much for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mir Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.